Let's uh, remain seated and turn to hymn 15. I've asked Larry to lead this for us. Hymn 15, which it's for the beauty of the earth. sing hymn number seven, the second tune, as our opening hymn this morning, after which I'll, uh, I'll offer an opening prayer. If you'd stand with me, hymn seven, praise ye the Lord. Our Lord and Father, what a beautiful fall day, what a beautiful Sabbath day you have prepared for us. Lord, uh, my heart is filled with joy knowing that uh, all who have gathered this morning have done so to come to be able to worship you. They have come to be able to share their prayers and even testimonies. They have come to raise their voices in uh, song unto you. Lord, that is because uh, of the love that you have for them. They have a desire to return that back unto you. Lord, there uh, are so many 
who uh, I know would have a desire to be here this day but cannot. Please bless them. Um, I pray that uh, it would be your spirit that would guide us this hour, that uh, each who has the opportunity to share might do so openly and with your love in their heart. Lord, continue to bless us as you, as you have as a congregation. Um, I feel blessed to be a part of this congregation. Uh, I love the love that is here that can be felt and shared. Uh, may that continue not only for all of our members, but for any who might enter in these doors, not just this day, but any day. Lord, uh, again, I thank you for your love, and I pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. When our congregations, and I'm looking back when I was younger, uh, were larger in number, we used to break up into small groups, and we'd do so in somebody's home. And um, we would have prayer and testimony that way. Uh, I always look forward to that because in a small gathering like that, it felt intimate. You were able to hear and feel what other people were hearing and feeling and sharing one with the other. So it is this morning, and that's exactly the way it feels. I feel like I'm with family, um, not just family of the congregation, but almost a blood family between us. And I thank you for being here this morning. Um, I'm going to read uh, from five uh, real short scriptures and see if you can pick up on what they have in common. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And from Deuteronomy, And thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the earth. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people as he hath promised thee and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. And from Titus, who, meaning Christ, gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. And from 1 Peter, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Uh, the question I'm going to pose this morning is, uh, when did you start making preparation for this day, for this communion that is about to be served unto each one of us? Um, was it last month after the communion? Is that when you started preparing? Was it last week? Was it yesterday? Or was it this morning? Uh, because you are a peculiar people, I believe your preparation for today started when you entered into the waters of baptism. I really believe that each one of us keep on our heart that blessing that the Lord has given us when we give our hearts unto him that uh, we know that he is going to be there for us. So whether it was a month ago, a week ago, a day ago, or this very hour, your preparation is unto him who loves you more than anyone else upon this earth. I know that's hard to believe, but it's the truth. Our Lord and Savior loves us, each one. As a peculiar people, we should continue to keep his commandments, love one another, 
sing praises unto our Lord and Savior. We have been given scripture direction in our three books that others do not have. As a peculiar people, we need to remember each other in prayer. And so it will be in just a moment. We'll be able to do that. Not only, not only for the ones around you, but for those who aren't even here yet. Uh, this morning, I'm going to mention some areas of prayer that uh, we might be remembering not only this day, but for this week ahead. First of all, remember that personal covenant that you made with our Heavenly Father and the, that the renewal that it can give you this day when we partake of, the, of his uh, remembrance here in the blood and the wine and the bread of his body. Remember the youth of this congregation. It is so important for us to remember that the youth will be leading us before you know it. That the youth will have in their heart that same love that you have in yours for our Heavenly Father. That that youth needs the direction of our Heavenly Father. Remember our pastor. How difficult it is sometimes to have the job that he has. And on the same time, sometimes how rewarding that job is as well. Remember our congregational retreat for next weekend. Um, if you, like me, uh, have been to retreats before, have been to reunions, you know what it can be like to be among those who love our Heavenly Father like you love them. It's so important to be able to share like that, and I'm hoping this coming weekend will be that for everyone. Remember Howard Brock? He'll be sharing from the pulpit today. He'll be sharing at the retreat, and he'll be back here the following Sunday to share as well. And then also, I don't know what they are, but please pray for those things that are on your heart. That's what this morning is all about. Shall we uh, remain seated and him saying him 376, 376, beneath the cross of Jesus. Listen to the words of this hymn as you sang them. And I, again, I've asked Larry to lead us. My 
has for us a microphone that's for me I can't hear and I know it's going to help those who uh, who also have a problem like I do so who would be first to share this morning knowing that you got a direct line to our Heavenly Father thankful for today and for uh, the opportunity and the privilege that it is to, uh, to draw apart from the world and to a place uh, that is uh, considered uh, a sanctuary to us. And even to uh, just set a while and uh, enjoy the peace and the quiet. But we're thankful, Father, for your continued blessings, for your awareness, for your concern, and for the sacrifice that you have made, and for the price that you have paid for each of us that we might be victorious in uh, this time of our life, this phase of our life, as it were. And so, yes, we come to remember. Remember all that you uh, are constantly doing on our behalf. For you are constantly reaching toward us through the ministry of your son. Desiring that we uh, become more aware of who we are and whose we are and come to a greater understanding of who you are and come to a greater understanding and appreciation of uh, what you are calling us to because of your love for us. And so we remember this day the gift of your son and all of those that uh, not only are within this sanctuary this morning, but uh, as Rex has said, uh, will be. And so we pray that your spirit would be in abundance, that uh, each one who enters would become aware of your spirit and gain strength and courage from that recognition and would remember each other and uh, those that are before us. So, Father, we pray this day for strength, for courage, for wisdom. And all that we do, in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our kind, <clears throat> our kind Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for providing this opportunity for us today. 
It is such a blessing to be here. and We would not take it lightly or for granted, Father. That we, your people, are provided this time with you is wonderful. And Father, I pray that we might be able to put the worldly cares of life away from us. The many things that run around in our heads and the responsibilities and uh, needs of life. And that we might embrace you in this time together. Trusting thee that uh, the responsibilities that are ours will fall into place with you by our side. We know that you are greater than uh, anything we will ever know. And we know precious little about thee, Lord. But we have the desire. And I pray that you will um, take that desire and uh, magnify it. But not only will our love grow for thee and for one another and for those that uh, have fallen by the wayside or know not thee, but that we might uh, have that joy that you desire us to have for our sake and others. That in being a peculiar people, Father, it might draw others unto you and it might encourage those of your fold that uh, are struggling with burdens they feel they cannot carry. For you never give us anything that you are not there holding us and walking with us. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this and for all the many opportunities of life you have given us. And for a beautiful future to look forward to. And we praise thy name. In Jesus' holy name. Heavenly Father, I now come to you thanking you for uh, the privilege of being in your house today and for the beauty of the sunshine and all the many blessings that you have uh, provided for us. I do thank you for this congregation and the love that everyone has for one another. and It's a love beyond of what I know outside this place, so I do thank you for that. <clears throat> I do ask for uh, your forgiveness, uh, Lord, because I feel my unworthiness today. And uh, I ask that you would uh, be with all of us, that we might uh, focus upon you and you, what you would have for us and the gift that you have given us. I thank you for all things and ask that you be with us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Our God, the Eternal Father, we are so grateful to be here this morning. Feel your spirit. As we prepare for communion and all the blessings that come from that and remembrances, we are thankful for your presence with us. We 
We're thankful for your presence when we walk through the day and you touch us and remind us how wonderful you are. We would pray, Father, for the retreat as it comes next week and all of those of the congregation that shall be there. And even those that can't make it, please remember them. That even though they're not among us, they will still feel your spirit as it touches us there. Pray, Father, that the many needs of your people, that as they bring them up to you and you listen to each of them, that you might help them in whatever way you know best in touching their lives and guiding them to you and healing them when it is needed. We are so thankful that we have a loving God like you. And we are thankful that we have this opportunity to live upon the earth. And these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we come to this time, and Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks that uh, as a congregation, we have the opportunity to come to this wonderful congregation, this wonderful building, your house, Lord. And Lord, that uh, as we enter through these doors, we're immediately touched by your spirit. Lord, I would ask that uh, those that would uh, continue to uh, come this day would, um, would be met the same way we've been met this morning. Lord, that they may be filled with your spirit, ready to kneel before your table and uh, partake of that sacrament, a sacrifice that you made for each of us. Lord, I take this time to uh, offer a special prayer in our youth. Lord, those that are... Uh, that are in high school, middle school, Lord, those that are in college, and those that have um, graduated and started their lives. Lord, many of them will uh, come to you seeking guidance, the direction in which they would go, and um, Lord, we ask that uh, you would provide them with that guidance. But Lord, we also ask that uh, you would send your angels to be with them and protect them, for, Lord, there's uh, many things that will uh, distract them from your way. Lord, uh, protect them as they uh, journey through what we know of the world today. Lord, I would uh, continue to ask a blessing on this uh, wonderful congregation, our leadership. Lord, continue to be with our pastor and his counselors, why they uh, continue to, uh, to go to you, prayer and fast, that you may continue to uh, provide them with uh, the guidance that uh, you may have us do as a church. And Lord, as a church, may we be open to those things that uh, we would ourselves continue to, to pray and fast over those dealings of the church. Lord, I would uh, ask that um, you be Howard while he prepares to bring the message. Lord, may you continue to uh, be with him. He comes to you this day. Again, Lord, we just give you thanks and praise for many wonderful blessings. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we too would thank you so much for being able to gather with the saints this morning. And Father, would thank you for the spirit that is in us, the testimony of Jesus. Would pray that this would rest upon each and every one, both those now and those who will gather. That each would be stirred, Father, in remembrance of the resurrected body of thy Christ. That we would be, Father, reminded of the spear that pierced his side, of the nails that were driven home. And that, Father, this sacrifice means so much more than perhaps we can ever understand in this life, and yet you've asked us to come together to partake, Father, of the broken body and the spilt blood, the emblems thereof. 
And that in so doing, there could be stirred within us and passed to us that knowledge which can only come from Thee. We pray, Father. We pray for Zion. We pray for the endowment. We pray for our youth. The Father, they too, whether here or whether they've decided to go a different way, that they could be stirred and would be stirred, Father, concerning the covenant they made with you at the water's edge. That, Father, there could yet be gathered those who would go to Zion, those who would worship in spirit. For you have said that the true worshipers would truly worship in spirit and in truth. We continue to pray for our pastorate, Father, that each and every one would have that measure of the Spirit necessary to the leading of this thy people. We pray all in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, what a blessing it is that we could uh, rise up on this beautiful Sabbath morning. Father, to have the opportunity to once again to come in thy house and to uh, experience uh, a sacrament with you once more. That, Father, we can come and we can uh, sit around your table. That we can come, Father, and uh, as a family, would gather around their table at home, Father. And we can converse one with another. And we can see and look into each other's eyes. And we can share our love. And we can share those things that are upon our heart. And to share, Father, of the events of the day. And so it is this day, Father, as we gather around thy table. We come and we share with you. Because we come this day to remember, Father. To remember your son, Jesus Christ. And the redeeming love that he uh, expresses unto each and every one of us. And as we have gathered and as others continue to gather this day, Father, might they hear the invitation to come, to come and sit a while, to come and stretch forth their hands to receive and partake. And might they know, Father, that they are worthy of your redeeming love. And yes, as we have made that commitment in the waters of baptism for some of us many years ago now, Father, but that same calling, that same encouragement is true today as it was on that day that we entered into the waters, that your redeeming love is for us today. And we might... Uh, participate this day, Father, 
and receive a renewing to our bodies and to our souls. And that we might be uplifted, Father, because we have come and we have sat with thee for a little while. And so might we feel your presence, Father. Might we see your eyes, Father, in those who would present the emblems unto us this day. Might we see the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who presents his body as a living sacrifice unto us. And might we reach forth, Father, and feel Might we feel as we partake of the bread in resemblance of your body. Might we feel your love, Father. And as we would reach forth and partake of that little cup of wine that represents your spilt blood, might we feel it wash clean through our body that we would be renewed this day and that we might look up, Father, and rejoice. And that we might be able to shout from the mountaintops of your redeeming love. For we have experienced you this day in great power. That's my desire, Father. That is my hope for this, your people. And they might respond to the ministry of your son, Jesus Christ. And that we might go forth, Father, continually looking up and seeking you and singing praises unto you for the love and the goodness, for the redeeming love of your son. Father, abide with us this day and throughout this coming week. We pray for our retreat this coming weekend. Might we experience you in great power. Might we come, Father, as we would uh, dedicate once again our hearts and our lives and our souls unto you. That there would be a renewing and a resurgence within us to go forth, Father, and to let your light shine unto all. And I would pray for all those who have the responsibilities for not only today, but this coming weekend, that your spirit would be there in great power, Father, and that precious gift of the Holy Ghost would reside within all those who would come, for they might receive, Father, through that which you have given unto them, the power of the Holy Ghost. And we too would remember our young ones and our youth and our young families. That, Father, they might know that there is a great God that watches over them. And there would be placed within them that desire, Father, to want to participate in the body of Christ and to come and be that member that you called them unto. And in doing so, they would receive great and rich blessings. For, Father, we know that you have brought forth our young ones for a wise purpose. And we pray those things that they've been taught in their young years, that, Father, they might uh, be rekindled and be brought fresh and new within them, that they might turn, Father, once again and look upward. Father, we do praise you for your goodness. I thank you for this wonderful body, this body of Christ who gathers here in this congregation known as Parkview. Might you continue to bless us and walk with us. Might our hearts be turned to you in all that we do. And might we praise you in all things and give you all the honor and glory. Is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father. Lord, I too would uh, lift my voice up to you. I pray that uh, you would be with the service to come. And I would uh, pray not only for my brother Howard, but I would pray for that spirit that's uh, inside him. That spirit that belongs to you. And through the busyness of our lives, you call us to make preparations on a daily endeavor to uh, serve you. You ask that we would serve you. You ask that we would uh, come to you in prayer and to uh, prepare in a manner that is pleasing unto you. And so I would ask that you would uh, be with Howard as he has made preparations and the spirit inside him that it uh, might be able to uh, be opened up and that we might feel you through those words that he shares. And I pray that those words that he shares be pleasing unto you would bring light and uh, understanding to our own minds and that we might be able to feel the spirit that, uh, that comes from those words. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your everlasting love and your desire to be with us. And I too would pray for this upcoming weekend And all those that are able to attend, that we all might be able to prepare, that we might be able to uh, set our baggage down and leave it behind and do our very best to uh, leave those distractions and those things that are in our current life that uh, either we are fighting or those things that we're battling or we have to uh, overcome. On a daily basis, I do pray that uh, we might be able to step away from those. Pray that as we enter this, uh, those um, gates and being able to uh, be on that, uh, that place that you have prepared for so many years, a place where there are so many memories, not only for... Um, myself and my family, but for everyone that uh, has been there. And I pray that those memories would uh, come to mind and that we would be flooded with your spirit. I pray that through that preparation this week that we might be able to receive that gift of your spirit. Pray that we might be able to connect with one another in ways that we have not, in ways that we've never attempted. I pray that our bond and our relationships would grow and that we would walk away with a stronger faith in you, a stronger relationship with you, and a stronger relationship with one another. I pray for protection, that uh, you would battle the adversary as he will uh, and as he does on a daily basis with each of us, I pray that you would protect us from that. As he tries to wedge his way into our life, I pray that you would uh, battle him, that we might be protected, and that we might be able to walk away next weekend with the, uh, a continued desire to serve you and to serve your people and to do all that we can in our own power to be the best that we can be and to be loving and caring, full of grace and forgiveness and being able to uh, share your gospel in the fullness thereof. And so I would ask that uh, you would be with us as we go about this day and make preparations for the upcoming service, make preparations for the upcoming weekend that your spirit might reside in us. We thank you, Lord, for your love. And we 
are greatly appreciative of your forgiveness, for the opportunity to be able to reside with you, to walk with you daily. And I just pray that we might be able to leave all that uh, weighs us down and give it to you, that you would carry that burden as you have promised. And we thank you in Christ's name we pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you very much for the privilege, the many privileges that I have and that we have here in this center place. And I pray for those that are not as blessed to be able to have others to meet with, to, uh, to share with to share the, your kindness and goodness. I pray that they will uh, feel your spirit to be with them this morning as they uh, worship you themselves. Father, I'm so blessed, and I thank you for your blessings. I'm sorry that I have uh, been negligent in many times in um, following through and obeying the promptings of your spirit. I'm sorry, Father. Um, I ask your forgiveness and I pray that I will uh, strive harder to fulfill the things that you want me to accomplish. Thank you so much for your willingness, all that you have done for us and for your suffering that you are willing to go through. Father, I pray that uh, I will be more uh, willing and not be a, procrast be a procrastinator and put things off when there's things that you want me to accomplish. Thank you for all the blessings that we have, Father. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, I pray. Amen. Well, interrupt me if you have to, if you have a prayer that you want to share. Uh, it's, uh, we still have a little while together. Uh, we're going to sing to close hymn 376, Beneath the Cross of Jesus. And again, I've asked Larry to lead us in this. But... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know about you, 
but uh, I feel particularly blessed to have been here this day. To uh, to feel the the spirit that each one of these prayers was uh, shared in. Uh, I'm sorry others weren't able to be here to feel that as well. I'll say what I did earlier. As a peculiar people, we should continue to keep his commandments. We should continue to love one another. We should continue to sing praises unto our Lord and Savior. And we've been given scripture that uh, so many others need, and we need to be the ones to share that with them. Uh, Larry, I know I'm asking you to lead it, but would you also offer the benediction over this portion of our service this morning? Uh, 379, did I say that right? Right? Or, yeah, 379. Yeah, take my life and let it be. 379. Give them a second. I apologize. Would you stand with us, please? Take my life and let it be. gracious and loving Heavenly Father. How good it has been to, uh, to be in this place to, uh, to make preparation for uh, the coming service. But not just for the coming service, Father, but for our lives. Father, even as uh, my brother read the uh, scriptures at the beginning of this service, that we are called to be a peculiar people. And that doesn't mean to be weird or, or goofy or anything like that. It means, Father, that we are to be separate. We are to separate ourselves from the world. Not just in this place as we gather together, but in our daily lives that we are not to be um, accepting the wisdom of the world and the things that uh, the world deems important. For Father, even as the Proverbs speak, all those things which do not point us to you and to that uh, eternal place that we desire to be are vain for they have no purpose in you and father it takes uh, some of us a short time to realize that and some of us a lifetime father we uh, we praise you for your love toward us and and your desires for us and 
And pray, Father, that we might uh, continue to uh, seek your counsel in all things. That, Father, we may do those things which would be uh, right and pleasing to you and stay on that path that you have prepared that uh, if we would walk with you, that there are so many more rich blessings that we can receive than those that we've had. And very few, Father, seem to achieve that. For, Father, your blessings are marvelous. And they can be so much greater if we but choose to love you with all of our heart, might, mind, and strength, even as you ask. Father, bless us uh, in the coming service that as we would partake of the broken body and spilt blood of, of your son, Jesus Christ, that your Holy Spirit might rest upon each one. And even, Father, as uh, your voice came and, and to the Nephites prior to uh, your uh, coming among them, that voice did pierce their hearts. Father, we pray that that same spirit would pierce our hearts, that we would uh, walk before you humbly, but walk before you, Father, praising your holy name, content with uh, what we have and not desiring, Father, to have so much more of the world. For when we put you for first, Father, you make us rich. We thank you, Father, and praise your holy name. And we we'll ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.